So today we're going to make the 20 piece Love of Lamps rosette. As you can see the rosette is four rows, five pieces in each row. Two rows being front sides and two rows being back sides. I'm going to start with the first two pieces in the first row. In my left hand I need to hold this piece vertically where the two curved edges are on the top and the bottom. The second piece I'm going to rotate and connect it a horizontal to a vertical. Connecting the bottom, bending and connecting the top. From here I need to make a quarter turn to the right clockwise where the piece I just connected becomes a vertical. I'm going to then take the third piece, rotate it to a horizontal, connect the center and the bottom. You can see automatically as I go forward and rotate the lamp it lines up the piece to be vertically. So now I just rotate horizontally, connect center, bottom, and then the last piece make horizontal. This is where I'll connect but I need to swoop under this piece. So I'm going to connect here, swooping underneath, connecting the center to the left, and then finishing the row by connecting the right, creating a star. The second row is five pieces and using all fronts. I want to hold the second row so that my piece again is vertical. Rotating the piece horizontal, connect the center. You can see that I have a left, a center, and a right. Connect the center, connect the left, connect the right side. Here is my vertical. I'm going to pick up the second piece, rotate it, connect in the center, the left, and the right. I'm going to continue this for the next three pieces. until the second row is complete. So again rotate horizontally, connect round to straight, so hook the center, hook the left, and hook the right, and then the same with the last piece. Second row is now complete and you can see it's like a bowl. Very much like baking the barrel or the ball or the star. Now what's key for the third row and the fourth row is you can see every piece is a back piece. As we discussed earlier in the video, making sure that when you're using backs they go left to right in a downward motion where the fronts are going upward. So the last two rows are going to be all downward motion back pieces. And basically what it's going to do is create a cool effect where the lamp comes out and then comes in. So we're going to start to shape it inward now to close. The pieces connect the exact same way whereas now I'm going to hold my piece horizontally. My straight side again is going to meet my round. I'm going to connect the center, the left, and the right. I'm going to repeat this motion for the next four pieces. Horizontal piece, pick straight up, vertical piece, connect the center, connect the left, connect the right side. It's important that when you're using the pieces you slide them down and pick them straight up to prevent from flipping them, which then would insert the wrong side. And the third row is done. So now the fourth row, as you can imagine, is going to close in the lamp so that we can hang it. Slide down the five pieces you're going to use. 
Starting with the first piece, now I'm going to make sure that this piece here that I'm holding is vertical. That means that I need to rotate that to a horizontal. I'm going to connect in the center, connect the left, connect the right, leaving the fourth tab in the center unattached for now. The next piece, again, holding vertical, rotate, connect the center, connect the left, connect the top, and connect the right. And I'm going to continue now connecting all four sides for the last three pieces. Again, rotating the piece to a horizontal where the curved edges are on the left and the right. Connecting into the center, connecting the left, connecting the center, and connecting the right. The last piece you can see is going to fit in here. I want to now start with the straight side going underneath the round. Connect the right to the left. And now, bend the entire piece so my fingers are underneath the piece I'm connecting. You can see that I've partially already connected in the swirl the right side. So now all I need to do is pull and connect the left. And we've made the rosette.